My friends, among the many highlights in this week's biblical portion, Bamidbar, the Torah enumerates the name of Nachshon ben Aminadav, the prince of the tribe of Judah. Seven days after leaving Egypt, the Israelites found themselves trapped between the raging Red Sea and the vengeful Egyptian army. While the people hesitated, it was Nachshon who leaped into the swirling waters, and according to tradition, it was his act of faith and courage that generated the miracle of the parting of the Red Sea. Nachshon's name is synonymous with sacrifice and courage, faith, and a call to action. This weekend we celebrate Yom Yerushalayim, commemorating the reunification of Jerusalem 53 years ago during the Six-Day War in 1967. With the faith of Nachshon for 2,000 years, the Jewish people never gave up our hopes and dreams to return to Jerusalem. For 2,000 years, we did not forget the eternal capital of the Jewish people. For 2,000 years, our daily prayers yearned for the rebuilding of Jerusalem. Our synagogues were oriented towards Jerusalem. Under the wedding canopy, the groom broke a glass recalling the shattered ruins of Jerusalem. On Tisha B'Av, we fasted and wept over the destruction of Jerusalem. And we concluded both the Passover Seder and Yom Kippur with the hopeful message next year in Jerusalem. The spirit of Nachshon, supreme faith, sacrifice, and courage, the call to action never to forget Jerusalem. How blessed we are, the privileged generation, to celebrate the reunification of our holy city. Yom Yerushalayim Sameach Shabbat Shalom.